Okay, so when I signed up for the Google AI Ultra package, I also have access to this Project Mariner. This is kind of the Google's uh, AI agent for browsers. So I thought we can just run through a few tests. So yeah, you can see we can actually do this here. Uh, but I made quite a short list of what I wanted to try today. So this is the five things I'm gonna try. So the first thing, start off easy. Just find the number of views on my yesterday's Google Flow video uh, from my channel. Second, we're gonna try to log into my Gmail. Uh, find the latest news on the Claude Anthropic live stream today. Send an email with this information to me. Uh, third, we're gonna try to find the DeepMind Diffusion model page and sign up for the waitlist. Find the best way to test the following code. I'm gonna put in some kind of code block here, simple code. See if we can find a way on the web to test it. And finally, I just want to converse with ChatGPT, see if we can do that about the future of software engineering. So, I haven't tried this Mariner, uh, I guess I gave like 5 seconds just to see if it works. So let's go ahead, go through these 5 tests and see how well it performs. So the interface uh, is very easy to use, it's basically just a how can I help you. Uh, and I can put in like, find a number of views on my Google Flow video, all about AI, and we can just start task. So I think the spin up here is gonna take some time. We probably are creating some kind of sandbox here. I'm not quite sure, I haven't looked into it. But this is kind of preparing my session, and I will come back when this is starting to browse the web here. Okay, so what you see now is uh, kind of the agent going over to Google, searching for Google Flow all about AI YouTube. So I can do a takeover if I want to, but uh, I'm not gonna do that. So I should click the Google search button. Okay, so it's gonna search for that. Okay, so it did find my video here. You can see that. Hope you can see it. Okay, so it's still looking for my video. Now it's going over to YouTube. Okay, so now it's gonna search for my uh, Google Flow All About AI again. Yeah, you can see it on the top here, 25,000 views. Yeah, you can see, uh, it's probably behind my face here, but you can see it, task is completed. Uh, maybe I can move my camera here. So you can see down here, task complete, and it found that the video has 25,000 views. Okay, so that worked pretty good. <laughs> So let's move on to our next test we wanted to do. And that was kind of log into my Gmail, find the latest news on Claude Anthropic's live stream today, send an email to me about the uh, live stream, something like this. Okay, so as you can see, uh, we can't really log into Gmail, so uh, I think we have to log in there manually. But we did uh, look at events here from uh, today's Claude live stream. So we're probably gonna get some information about that. Yeah, that's pretty good. So now we have all the info about uh, Anthropic's live streams today. So I'm gonna try to log in by using the takeover here. And I'm gonna go to Gmail and try to log in myself. Okay, so that worked pretty good. So now I'm just gonna do compose and send the mail. So the first attempt, uh, it would not send it, it just says uh, I'm not, uh, I cannot do that. Then I'm gonna try, I have logged in myself, please send it for me. Uh, okay, so this is not working, uh, so I guess it kind of has this blocker here that it's not uh, gonna do that. Okay, so it uh, won't send emails, so kind of now we know that, uh, but that's fine. So yeah, uh, it did find all the information about the uh, live stream today, but uh, it would not send emails even though I logged in. Uh, let's move on to our third challenge, uh, I think. And that is gonna be to find the DeepMind Diffusion model page and sign up on the waitlist for me. Okay, so let's try that. Okay, so it starts with a search uh, DeepMind Diffusion model. That looks pretty good. Okay, so it did find the page. Uh, so now hopefully it's just gonna click there. Okay, so it found it. Uh, you can see clearly the join the waitlist button there. Okay, so now it's asking me if it's okay to accept the cookies. Yes, yes, it's okay. Okay, so here's the waitlist, right? To fill in this form, you must be signed in. As I already filled out this morning, I'm just gonna try to change my profession to engineer. Okay, so let's see if we can change the profession here. It's looking at all the options. Okay, that worked. So it changed it from other to engineer. So maybe some people wanna use this to, I don't know, fill out forms and stuff. So I just wanted to check if this worked. Seems to work okay. It did find a page and stuff. But uh, far from perfect, uh, I wouldn't say that. Uh, let's try our next uh, challenge. 
Okay, so the next is going to be to find the best way to test the following code. We're going to insert uh, some kind of simple Python code here. So let's just do, we have two integers, 7 and 5. We are called them variables a and b. Sum results a plus b. And we're going to print the sum of a and b is sum result. So let's try that and see if um, we can find any way on the web where we can execute some Python code. So this is v3 schools. That's a pretty good one. And it crashed. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what happened. Uh, let's see if we can continue from here. So I'm gonna say try now. Okay, so now it's trying again. So that's pretty good. Okay, so I'm just gonna say try again. Uh, just don't include comments. Okay, so we got the code in. So let's see if we can run this now and we get the results. That's gonna be 12 in the terminal here. It's running. Hey, the sum of 7 and 5 is 12. So that was the task complete. That was pretty cool. It did find a way to execute some Python code. <laughs> I kind of enjoy that. I don't know why. It just seems fun. Uh, I had to give it some extra instructions, but it got there in the end. So the final one is going to just find ChatGPT and converse a bit with ChatGPT about the future of software engineers. Converse with ChatGPT about the future of software engineers. Do you agree? You and ChatGPT agree? I don't know if this is gonna work, but there are a free version we could maybe get into. So the first thing it's gonna do is search for ChatGPT here on Google. I guess it could have just... Yeah, well, let's see what happens. Why is Claude AI come up? They must pay a lot for that. But the website is gonna be official website. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, so openai.com. That's not correct, is it? Just to chatgpt.com. Alter is it gonna go to Gemini now? So I'm just gonna say go to chatgpt.com. That's much easier. I don't know why that's so hard. Okay, so now we are on chatgpt.com. Let's see if we can do some questions about software engineering. What is your perspective on the future of software engineers? Is it gonna do enter? Yes, it's asking. So it doesn't look like we get a response here. I don't know why, I haven't done this before. Okay, so we're just struggling with ChatGPT. Let's try to do aistudio.google.com. Okay, so now it's gonna try to ask the question here. What is your perspective on the future of software engineers? And we need to click enter, I guess. Okay, so we did click on run. An internal error has secured. Yeah, it's not running, but it did everything right. Uh, let's see if we can do chat GPT. Okay, so uh, I'm just gonna give up on this one, but uh, in all, I think we did uh, some interesting stuff. We, I kinda liked that my favorite was the execute and test the code part. That was the one I liked the most. Uh, we did find some information. Uh, I'm gonna do more research in the future with this. Uh, the email didn't work. We couldn't send any request to chat GPT. But it seems to navigate Google pretty good. It had some issues, but um, when I have better use cases, I will probably come back to this. Just wanted to give a like, short video, test it out, just so you can see kind of how the UI is working, how the sandbox is set up, how the container is working. And yeah, we're probably going to come back to it. So now, it's not soon, I'm going to watch the Claude uh, live stream. So yeah, see you again very soon.